Fearless family, what's going on guys? So we got a question the other day about reapproaching or reopening a girl that you've had an interaction with that might have not gone well in your eyes, or maybe you uh, prematurely ejected from a conversation that was going pretty well, and then later had the realization that she was into you, she was enjoying herself, but somewhere along that you got caught in your head and decided it was a good time to leave. Maybe there was too much tension in the interaction. so. I want to talk about that. How do you reopen or re-engage in an interaction that you are initially put yourself out of? Well, probably prematurely. A lot of guys do it very premature. Now, I've had a lot of these uh, instances um, in the earlier stages of Fearless because when you're working with our coaches and you go into an interaction and you pull yourself out of it prematurely, we see that and the coaches are very, the coaches are very keen on this stuff. They'll send you back in especially if they saw that the interaction was going really well, which a lot of the times the person being the person in the interaction, you're not seeing everything, especially when you're in your head, you're not, you're not seeing the nuances. You're not seeing the girl's response to you very clearly because a lot of the times you're overthinking, what do I say next? And we kind of get lost in the translation of communication because especially if this is new to you and we might just sabotage something that was going really well because we couldn't see it, right? Hindsight is always 20, 20. And a lot of the times when we leave those interactions, probably about five or five minutes after or so, we have that light go off in our head. It's like, oh, she was into me. She was she was saying this and I was interpreting it as this because my stories are being triggered or it was too much tension in the interaction. So the idea of going back and talking to the girl after you had those realizations can either be very daunting and scary or it could be like, okay, cool. Now I know that there's something there I can actually go off of now. And I've had it both ways. Um, and the more experience I actually got with going back and reopening girls that I might have left prematurely, I've had, I had a lot of success with that. So it doesn't scare me as much anymore as it used to. So I want to talk to you guys about that, especially because it's summertime and you're in these environments where they're a little more contained, like bars or parties or uh, just summer events, gatherings, beaches, things like that, right? You're going to be in places where you're going to be seeing groups of people. You're going to be seeing a lot of girls that uh, are able, you're able to talk to, but you're also going to be seeing that you might talk to a girl here, you might talk to a girl there, and then you might see them like 10 minutes later, an hour later, and it might still be in the same environment. So that kind of stuff is pretty cool because it allows you the opportunity to go back and talk to them if maybe you had a little small five minute conversation earlier and you wanna pick up on it, or you completely sabotaged it and you had this new fresh insight and you want to go back and see if that insight was actually true, which a lot of cases it, it is. So how to reopen a girl that you previously talked to and might have left prematurely with. Now, a lot of the times you gotta remember, girls are very keen on what guys are feeling uh, emotionally, but a lot of the times girls don't realize that guys are beating themselves up as much as they are. So us in our heads, we might be like, oh, this is the end of the world. You know, why you're in the interaction with a girl and there's tension there and you wanna pull out and your subconscious is freaking out, fight or flight, doing that thing. Now, she may not even realize that you're going through that whole thing on the inside, other than that she feels that it's something's kind of off, right? She may not feel that whole thing. So in your head, you leave that interaction, you're like, man, I screwed that up, I messed that up, what was I thinking? Oh, she thinks I'm a fool, I uh, look stupid. All this self-sabotage stuff that we do, the self-abuse, things that we do when we leave interactions. You gotta realize she might not have even seen, uh, realized you're doing any of that stuff. So. When we tell the guy to go back in there and talk to her, his first thing is like, I can't go back in there, that's so weird. It's like, it's not as weird as you think it is and it's not as uncommon as you think it is. A lot of guys re-engage with girls they talked to earlier in the day, so get back in there. Now, their biggest fear is that this girl saw all of their inner thoughts <laughs> as this interaction was going on and how foolish they felt and how shy they were, how nervous they were, how stupid they felt or how unprepared they were. And the truth is they really didn't. When I say that, I say this. Go back into the interaction with the idea that she didn't realize that you were having that, that emotional roller coaster that you were going through when you were talking to her. She didn't realize that you were beating yourself up right after, because a lot of times they don't. And sometimes when you go back into the interaction and you bring that fresh energy, um, you hit it off right, right away again. And probably even better than you did initially because she has an idea of who you are and she's not gonna completely close you off or block you out, unless it really wasn't a weird interaction, which in many cases, they are not unless you're completely in your head and she just doesn't wanna to talk to you, okay? That's one way. Now, the second way and the most powerful way 
I do things, I think is very, uh, I can't say more, more powerful in the sense that it's more vulnerable and it's more straightforward and it's more penetrating, is to call out the elephant in the room, right? Calling out the elephant in the room means that, say you had that initial interaction and something in that interaction to you was off and you left prematurely and then you had the realization that um, I wanna go back in there because I think there's still some more stuff there that I didn't get a chance to really explore and that she might have been interested in me, but I left too early. So, radical honesty, right? Or just walking back up to the girl and being like, hey, I'm sorry, I was a little bit nervous earlier. Um, like you're super smoking in this outfit. Like, um, I'm super shy. Hey, I'm Anthony again, what's your name again? And just picking that conversation up and carrying where it left off, but calling out the elephant in the room. Why is that so powerful? Well, it's powerful because it's vulnerable. And men associate vulnerability with weakness when in truth, vulnerability is a strength and it actually makes you way more attractive because you're owning your flaws or your, or your insecurities that you have about yourself and you're not letting them take you out completely, right? So if you're not letting them take you out completely, what you're doing is you are accepting that part of you and still showing up completely fully in your masculine. And that is attractive because she knows that you don't get taken out by things very easily, right? So once you do that for yourself even, you will realize that there's a lot of tension in that, but once you get that elephant out, how much more in your body you, you, you start to feel free? How much more uh, confident you start to feel because you've gotten that out? Now the conversation can be 100% a clean slate, but also coming from a place of more openness that you're not hiding things anymore. You're not going into your head anymore because there's no reason to, because you just spoke the truth and you keep that continuity going throughout the interaction. It just makes it better and better. And you start to realize that she is interested in you or she wants to entertain the conversation more with you. So, so don't be scared of the idea that because I left this interaction earlier or that I messed this one up, that you can't go back in and do it. There's a lot of times we'll go out and we'll be like, I don't know, Thirsty Promenade, which is a shopping center here outdoor. We'll see a girl and we'll have a conversation about five minutes or so, maybe it didn't go great. And then we'll go, we'll run across her again at some point. And then she'll remember us or remember me or whoever the guy is. And that conversation was just started striking up again. So it's not unusual for that to happen. So again, don't get taken out by the, don't get taken out by the idea that you can't go back in and salvage what you were uh, initially intending to do in the, in the original interaction, which my guess is that you were trying to talk, uh, get a date, uh, chill, connect, uh, something along those lines, right? It, it wasn't, it wasn't extremely platonic in its nature. So anyway, guys, I hope that helps you out. And if you have any more questions again, uh, feel free to reach out to us, hit us in the comments. Uh, let us know how that works for you. Um, let us know your biggest fears also around reopening the girls. That's actually a really good one. What really scares you the most about reopening the girls is the fact that she thinks you're weird because you came back. Yeah. Uh, she thinks you're a creep. What is it that propels you from going back and talking to the girl a second time after you feel like you've already kind of demolished the first one, which in most cases you didn't. Uh, again, guys, don't forget the journal. Journaling is, is crucial in this. And uh, don't also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And we want you guys to succeed at this. Uh, sorry. And also guys, don't forget after you comment, hit the like and subscribe button so that you can continually get notifications about these videos every Friday so that we can continue pushing you forward in becoming an approach beast, uh, especially the summer, man. And, you know, we only get one summer. Uh, why wait till next year to go out and have as much success as you could be having today by going out. So guys, remember, only the confident really live. Peace.